Fire Tulips. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is your girl Bliss. If you're new tuning in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free. Hit that bell for notifications so that you can stay updated on new videos that are released each and every week for your entertainment and education. Also, give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you enjoy these videos. That inspires me. Okay, so let's jump right into it. <laughs> so today's video is all for my... DIY lock sisters and bros out there. If you currently have locks but you can't afford to go out there and pay someone to maintenance your locks, let me share with you some of the things that you're going to need, okay, if you're going to maintain your very own locks. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is shampoo. If you have locks, you definitely want to make sure that you utilize a pretty decent clarifying shampoo. I have two that are my absolute go-tos at this point. I really, really like them thus far. So make sure you have used some shampoos on hand and they need to be clarifying shampoos. The reason that you want to clarify shampoo because you want to make sure you're able to wash away all that build up and residue that you can easily, easily get when rocking your locks. So the next thing that you're going to need is part of the prep process before you actually wash your locks, okay? So if you have sister locks or micro locks, and I like to think that I have hmm, micro locks, you definitely want to make sure you keep you some type of twist ties or rubber bands right now because of the length of my very own locks and the size of my locks i am utilizing goodies black rubber bands y'all do not try to unravel the rubber bands cut them off the importance of you having rubber bands is if you have a lock similar to what i have here or you have sister locks it will really behoove you to make sure that especially if you have newborn locks that you kind of braid your locks into sections or you twist them in sections before you apply products and wash them just so that you won't have any slippage in your locks okay so these rubber bands will definitely be helpful for you within that process so make sure you have rubber bands or twist ties at hand another thing that you're going to need after you clarify your hair, you may want to follow up and moisturize that scalp because it's very easy for your scalp to become very dry, especially in the very beginning. So you want to make sure that you have you an oil that you can apply direct to your scalp. Now, does it necessarily have to be what I have here? Absolutely not. A lot of people have their pros and cons as it relates to the Jamaican mango and lime islands oil so it doesn't necessarily have to be this one this one is just an option that I chose because I really really like it thus far I haven't had any issues but you definitely want to make sure you follow up with some oil okay Aye. next what you're going to need if you're going to be retwisting or interlocking your own twist twist so if you're going to be interlocking or retwisting your own locks, there are some tools that you want to make sure that you have. First and foremost, you want to make sure you have you some clips. Now, does it have to be exactly like the clip I have here? Absolutely not. I have all types of clips, but you definitely need some clips because you want to make sure that you're able to, you know, move that other hair aside as you focus on one lock at a time. If you're interlocking, you definitely want to make sure that you have you an interlocking tool to do that particular um, process, or you want to make your very own. I have my very own right here, and I was inspired to make my very own by one of my new favorite YouTubers that I like to follow called Cat Coils. I think that's the name of her channel. Hmm. If not, I'll make sure I leave a link to her video making one of these little cheap tools y'all this don't cost a thing uh, if you want to see me make one then let me know and i'll make it but i definitely went by her instructions that she had when she made her very own and y'all it when i tell you it's so cheap and affordable look it's not gonna look a dollar and change okay but either way you need your very own interlocking tool if you're not crafty in that way there are many websites that you can go to to purchase your very very own interlocking tool if you are not familiar then what i'll do is leave some links down in the description box below that you can go check out okay 
And lastly, but not least, y'all styling. If you're in that ugly pretty stage like your girl is right here, and you really don't know what to do with your hair, especially if your hair was cut in a style previously to you getting locks, definitely want to make sure that you have plenty, 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 plenty of bobby pins. Y'all, I have to keep bobby pins on lock, okay? So this will help you with styling. This will help you with adding accessories to your locks and things of that sort. So those are all the things that I can come up with that you're going to need in the beginning of your lock journey. Now, if there was anything that I missed, y'all, please feel free to share some information down in the comment section below because it may be helpful to me or it could be helpful to one of our other tools out there that are watching this particular video. If there's any products or tools that you think that I need to use in my locks, let me know and I might be willing to give that a go. Anyway, hope this video was helpful. See you tools in the next one. Smooches. Mwah.